Hello, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to film a new YouTube video. We're going to review a few new products that I received and also probably one of the favorites is Siri. I was not talking to you. <laughs> These ones. Look, they are so pretty. I think they are amazing so we're gonna try out these and just gonna make a look out of it so if you're interesting keep on watching have a sip of my coffee and i actually gonna start with my brows and my eyes today because i'm gonna go quite smoky and i don't want to mess up my foundation so i'm gonna start off with the eyes changes of plans i'm gonna start off with the brows and i'm gonna use the precisely my brow pencil in number four just to create a bit more shape and a bit more thickness uh, what you want to do here is starting by making one straight line from the beginning till the end and then do the same on the top but for the top I'm gonna leave the front quite natural so I'm gonna start from around here so not here around here Just creating some shape on my brows. So then I'm gonna get my MAC concealer. I'm just going to clean up all the edges and I'll be using my Sigma winged eyeliner brush for this. I never use it, but it's a real precise brush. So, to be honest, I do not have a eyeshadow primer at the moment. Um, I know I should, but I don't. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base. So, I'm just dabbing that all over on my eyelids. I'm going to use this little... So for my eyeshadow I'm going to use the Smashbox Hover Shot Smoky Eye Palette and it looks like this and then the inside looks like this. So I'm gonna start off by using this really light color and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyes first just to make sure I got a good base. You, ooh, ooh, I wanna be like you. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> oh my god! What is it? Then I'm gonna use the color right next to it, and I'm just going to use it as a transition. I'm blending that out with my Spectrum brush. Spectrum brushes are probably one of my favorite brushes. One because they're very beautiful and they're pink. And two, because they just blend out really easily. So once we've done that, I'm gonna get this grey colour right here. And I'm gonna go again with my same spectrum brush. And I'm going to blend that in the crease. And I'm just going to dark up the crease a little bit. Because I'm planning to go for a grey smoky eye look. And the key thing with this is you just have to keep building, 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 building. Because once you go with too much product, there's no way, there's no going back. Then I'm going to use the same color and use this little baby spectrum brush and I'm going to apply that under my lower lash line. And I'm taking that same grey color and I'm just going to apply it in the corners of my eye. So the outer corners and the inner corners. 
and I'm gonna go a little bit in the inner corner and I get a different blending brush and then blend out the edges same goes for under the lower lash line again in the inner corners and a little bit in the outer corners then I am going to get this sparkly black this one and I'm gonna just go literally do exactly the same thing I'm gonna apply that in the corners and then blend out those edges Then I'm just getting a bigger blending brush, also from Spectrum, and I'm just going to blend everything out a bit more. And then I'm gonna use this Inklot Aqu Aquastic. Okay, I'm gonna use this cream eyeshadow, it's just a cream eyeshadow, and this is in number 14. You can see this is the color what it looks like. So I'm gonna use this flat makeup brush from Makeup Addictions, and I'm going to tap that just on the place where you didn't put any shadow so just in the center of the lid and then get a bit more and apply that in the middle of your lower lash line and this brush we use for the corners probably still has a bit of dark eyeshadow on there. So I'm going to use it to blend out the edges of the cream eyeshadow. So for lashes I'm going to use Hypnoti Lashes and this is in Elegance. So now I'm going to do my face and I'm going to use my favorite foundation the Sodorio Infallible 24 and this is in number 200 and I'm gonna use these bad boys. I never tried them before so this is first impression I really like this. I don't know if it is because they look like a fish or because how they blend out I'm going to mix a little bit of Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Cream and I'm just going to mix that with my foundation. Let's get a bit more color. So then for contour I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealers. And these concealers are great for contouring, for concealing, for everything because the texture is really thin. They're, they're so easy to blend out, it's unbelievable. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Okay, I'm messing up here. Messing up big time. Okay. You might have to get used to it a little bit. Okay, I put way too much on. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat for one moment because I need to blend this out. Okay, I cheated a bit, but let's just say those fishy brushes are amazing to blend out foundation. They, they really are. You really, you can get the corners between your brows and like on your forehead, but to blend out your contour, maybe I use too much product, maybe that's why, but I was freaking out. I was freaking out because it was drying on my forehead and I couldn't blend it out anymore, so maybe just use it one step at a time and see how I get on, but for foundation, absolutely 
really, really nice. So I'm gonna use a little hula contour just on the cheekbone. And that goes nice with this one. Use the Balm Springs blush, a really nice. And I like to use a big brush and then just blend it all together. And I always do it after my blusher. Highlighter. I'm going to use this artist. I'm gonna use this Artist Couture Diamond Dust and this one is in the color Gold Digger Gold Digger Diamond Dust and I'm gonna use this highlighter brush from Sigma and this is in F03 it's a really nice brush for your highlighter I'm gonna pop a little bit Urban Decay Quick Fix on it it's just gonna intensify the highlighter a little bit more Focus. Oh my, it even makes my camera go out of focus, it's that bright, it, it literally that bright it makes my camera go out of focus. So for my lips I'm going to use this new liquid lipstick from The Balm and this is in Reliable and it looks like this. It's a really, really pretty color. And I'm going to use my MAC, MAC, my MAC lip liner in Boldly Bare. So this is it. This is the look about this brushes they look very cute they look like fishes blend it out easy if you're gonna blend out a contour be a bit more careful but for foundation i give them the thumbs up if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment tell your friends tell the world but most important thing for me thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you with my next video and is there anything you like me to do or if there's anything you like to see, please let me know. I will always, always try to reply and your opinion matters to me. I really enjoyed making this again and I hope to see you very soon with my new video. See you later. And of course, I put everything down in the description 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 i don't know how you say it in english everything i use i will put down i also put down where i got these and i will see you next time <laughs>